76. And while President Obama will be standing in San Juan, he'll be speaking to Hispanic voters in swing states, oh, like Florida, as well as some 4.6 million Puerto Ricans now living in the U.S. mainland. Illinois Democratic Congressman Luis Gutierrez, the member of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus, he joins me now. And Congressman, visiting uh, the island of Puerto Rico does not make a way to just automatically win support of Hispanics. But explain why it does go a certain amount of the way. Well, I think, first of all, um, he's in Puerto Rico, but he's really speaking, as you suggested earlier, to over 4 million Puerto Ricans in the United States that will cast ballots for president. But he's really focusing, I believe, on one state. We've seen a demographic shift uh, in Puerto Rican population from the island to the United States. Uh, not like any other since the 1950s when my mom and dad left the island of Puerto Rico to move to Chicago. Um, there are 850,000 uh, Puerto Ricans in the state of Florida, that one state alone. Um, and that's a critical state because, you know, let's face it, uh, Illinois, New York, right. those we are states that you're, you, you, you got to know where those states are going, right? But Florida's Florida is a story. very key state. And that's, so I think what he's doing today is, uh, is, is, is gonna he's going to raise some money uh, in Puerto Rico, and then he's going to uh, take some photos, and it's a good idea, you know, people drinking uh, piña coladas and having guayaveras on in the tropical island of Puerto Rico. But, you know, I think people would rather see a president not taking photos, but really taking action in order to help a community. Well, let's talk about uh, the, the issue that, that's going to come up when he's in Puerto Rico, and that's this issue. Is should, it be, should they get independence? Should it be statehood? Should it stick to what it is now, which is a commonwealth? How should it be decided? Should it be decided by uh, the U.S. Congress and the president, or should it be decided by voters? Where does this issue stand? I feel like we've been talking about it ever since yeah. Puerto Rico became uh, part of the United States. Yeah, you know, it's a constant issue. Uh, we saw uh, the uh, the Mavericks, the Dallas Mavericks, and they have a uh, um, a point guard, a Puerto Rican point guard on that. What did he do? He put a Puerto Rican flag around himself before he even got the championship ring. I mean, that kind of speaks to how the Puerto Rican community feels about itself and its own national identity. And I think we should be respectful of that national identity. I've always insisted that if the issue, Puerto Rico is a Colony of the United States. I know better than most. I'm a member of Congress, and I know that we have full plenary powers over sure. Puerto Rico. Uh, the Supreme Court in Puerto Rico is not the Supreme Court. It's an appellate court, actually, I think, believe in Boston. So uh, let's, I I've always encouraged the people of Puerto Rico to organize themselves and then demand of the Congress of the United States action so that it can be uh, a truly decolonizing experience. So what, what is the, okay, what does that mean, decolonizing? Does that mean what? Does that mean something I will. like the District of Columbia, which is not quite a state but has voting rights yeah. and some self-rule? What does it mean? Here, for me, here's what it means for me. It means that, look, if Puerto Rico is going to move towards statehood, uh, well, that's statehood. Uh, that's certainly a decolonizing uh, situation. Um, I prefer independence for Puerto Rico. You can also have a relationship between the island of Puerto Rico and the United States, and you can have some kind of treaty and compact which respects the cultural, linguistic values of the island of Puerto Rico. Um, right. But in the end, um, Chuck, I really think it's incumbent upon the people of Puerto Rico uh, to organize themselves in a fashion, to reach a consensus about their right. future, and then the Congress of the United States to say, we're going to respect that decision. All right, it would be interesting to hear what the president has to say today. It's an historic visit. Congressman Luis Gutierrez, thanks for joining me this morning. Thank you. All right. Up next.